Pishek and this is Curious Classroom Adventures. Today I have a geometry math game for you using angles and complementary and supplementary angles. Maybe adding and subtracting to find the missing angle. So this is a twist on tic-tac-toe called tic-tac twist. Let's look at how to play. To play this game, you are going to need a partner and you'll need the tic-tac-toe board for this game, tic-tac twist angles. You and your partner will each need a color for your counters. They can't be the same color, but you know, some place to mark your spot on the board. And then you'll need these um, angle cards, supplementary and complementary angle cards. Let me find the comp there we go, complementary angle cards. Okay. Um, you might also want some scrap paper to kind of work your problems on. So to start the game, place the board between you and your partner, and then you'll shuffle up the cards and place those face down where some where you can both reach them, okay? On your turn, you're going to draw a card and you're gonna solve to find the angle of this missing angle. So on this one, turn it this way. You can see I have, here's my straight line, my 180 degrees. I have 30 degrees here and 30 degrees here. But right here, B is missing. So I need to solve for that. So if I know that this whole from, you know, for a straight line, if it's 180 degrees, I just need to find the difference to find the missing part, right? So 30 plus 30 is 60, 180 minus 60 is 120. Now that I can do in my head, but there might be some more difficult ones that, I'm, that I'll want scrap paper for, but let me go ahead and solve this one. 180 minus 30 is 150 minus 30 is 120. So let me find something on the board that matches 120 degrees. So there I have options over here. Um, it could be an angle between 60 and 120. No, it doesn't match that. Odd angle, no. Greater than 45, it works for that one. Um, not less than 45. It's not a right angle. It's not an acute angle. It is an obtuse angle um, or an even angle. So I have choices. I can do this one, this one, or this one. I'm going to be yellow today. Uh, I'm going to go with um, an obtuse angle and put my marker right there. Okay, then it's going to be my partner's turn. My partner will draw a card and they'll do the same thing. They're going to solve. Okay, so this is a right angle. I know our right angle is 90 degrees. 48 degrees is what's showing we're missing an angle here. I'm going to need scrap paper for this one. So 90 degrees minus 48 degrees. Forty-two degrees, and I can check my work. Forty-two plus forty-eight should equal ninety, and it does. Okay, so my partner figured out that their their missing angle was forty-two degrees. So let's look over here. Where could they put their counter? Well, less than forty-five, or acute angle, because anything less than forty-five degrees is acute. Um, it could be an even angle, right? So any of those. So let's go with um, the less than 45 degree angle right there. Okay, then it's gonna be my turn. Ah, here we go. It's a right angle again. This one's 45, that's half. I know half of 45 degrees is, uh, I mean half of a right degree is 45 degrees. So this is also 45 degrees. So I can come over here, hmm, I could do between 30 and 60. I can't do less than 45 because it's exactly the same as 45. Acute angle is anything smaller than a right angle, so I could do that one. Um, or I can't do an even angle, I could do an odd angle. Since I'm trying to make three in a row, why don't we put our marker right here on between 30 and 60, okay? Now it's gonna be my partner's turn. Now each time we go, we have a choice. We can either fill um, a fill a square that's open, or we could remove our opponents. We can't place our own one there, but if we if our description matches that, we could remove our opponent's one. All right, here we have a supplementary angle. Right, they add up to 180 degrees. I have 126 
but I'm missing this one. So I would do 180 minus 126. Again, I'm gonna need scrap paper for this. We're drawing easier cards than our partner, aren't we? Minus 120. Again, borrow here. Four, seven minus two is five. So 54 degrees, that's what's missing there. So 54 degrees. Ah, so here is where our opponent, since they have 54 degrees, our opponent could play a little defense here and just say, you know what, I'm going to remove a yellow, right? They can't put their green one there, but they could remove ours. So you keep playing this way, drawing cards, solving for the missing angle, finding a spot on the tic-tac-toe board, or removing a, a counter from the tic-tac-toe board. And the first person with three in a row, either up and down, or across or diagonally is the winner of Tic Tac Twist Angles. Enjoy playing.